Now I can play my timeline by hitting the space bar. This will play the movie in the sequence. Now if I feel a clip is taking too long, such as this first clip, I can actually trim this clip down on the timeline. Now you'll notice when I hover my selection tool over the corner of the clip, you will see that it changes to a red bracket with an arrow pointing to the right. If I mouse down and drag, I can actually trim the clip. But this will then leave a gap between the beginning and the start of the actual sequence. I'm going to do Control or Command Z. I'm going to hold down Command or Control. This time I'm going to create what they call a ripple edit. This time if I trim my clip, it will actually trim out the gap and move all of the sequence along. If I feel that the soundtrack on my clip is too noisy, I can actually mute the sound by clicking with inside the audio track to mute the sound so it will now play silently.